So home button, custom launcher, looking good, and double tap home button, we now get the recents menu. So the first batch of devices that have received the new Android TV update, which has actually placed those promoted or those trailers on the home screen are the Android TVs. So Philips TVs, Sony TVs, all of these different TVs running the official Android TV operating system, they are all now showing adverts. Now the second batch are the TV stream 4K devices. Now I have that device in my house, but I haven't received that latest update, but there's many reports online uh, with people who have received the latest update and they now all see adverts on the home screen. Now with the Nvidia Shield, it's a little bit strange where there's literally only a handful of people online who are saying that they've now started seeing adverts. There's many more reports online saying that the Nvidia Shield may actually be exempt from this update. And just talking of the update, it's actually a two part process. Firstly, your device gets a software update, but then something has to be enabled on the back end from the Google side before you start seeing those adverts on your device. So it's not just a total case of as soon as you get software update, you're gonna start seeing adverts. The only thing I would add is that it may just be a phased approach. So firstly, they focus on the TVs, the official Android TVs like the Philips, the Sony, and some of the other brands. They then move on to the sticks like the Mi Stick or the TiVo Stream, and then eventually they'll move on to the Shield. So what can we do about it? Now, in a previous video, I've covered on how you can actually install a custom launcher on your Android TV device. And of course, when you use a custom launcher, you don't see any adverts. Now, one slight caveat with that process is, is you lose the feature of the double tap home. So on the stock launcher, when you double tap home, you get to see your recent applications and you can switch between them. But when you're using a custom launcher with the previous process, that functionality goes away until today. So as we can see on my device, I press the home button. I now see my custom launcher. I have all of my applications. I have a nice weather widget at the top. And when I double tap the home button, I get to see the recent feature. So in this video today, let me show you how you can follow this process on any Android TV device and get a custom launcher with no adverts, but also retain the ability to have your recent menu. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, make sure you're using the application downloader and navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. When you get to my site, if you click on the hamburger menu, we'll see that there's a section called tutorials. Let's open that up. And let's scroll down. And the latest tutorial in the list should be how to block Android TV adverts on all of your Android TV devices by using a custom launcher. Now in my example, I'm going to use the Wolf launcher, but in reality, you can use any launcher that you like. Let's click on that. And this will then give you the links of the software that we want to download. And the first application is Button Mapper. So click on this, scroll down, go to the green download button and download and install that. Once you've installed that, you can now choose a custom launcher. So in this example, I'm going to use the Wolf launcher for Nvidia Shield, which has the Nvidia Shield logo, but you can choose this one, or you can choose Leanback launcher, or you can choose any launcher that you like from the Play Store. Once you've downloaded and installed that, let's now press the home key and let's open up Button Mapper. So the first thing the application tells you is that you need to start the accessibility service. So let's click on OK. Let's scroll down and click on device preferences. Keep going down and let's open up accessibility. And this will then show you all of the services or applications that need access to this service. And in the list here, we can see we have the button mapper. So by default, it's turned off after you install it. But if I click on that, click on enable, click on okay again, and that takes you straight to the application and the application now has all of the permission it needs. So all we need to do now is, is modify the home button action so you can then start our custom launcher. So let's go to the home button. So here we want to enable the option to customize because we want to customize what the home button press will do. So let's turn that on. And we now have three distinct actions that we can choose with the same button. We have single tap, double tap, and also long press. So let's go to the single tap. So here you can choose some of the default actions like home, back, recent. If you click on the top, we can go to system shortcuts or media shortcuts. Now in our example, because we want to start a custom launcher, I'm gonna to go to applications. 
and this will then show you all of the applications installed on your Android TV device, which you can then launch by pressing the home button. So let's scroll down and let's find the custom launcher that we installed. And in my example, it was the Wolf launcher. So here it is. Let's click on that. So that basically says now that when I single tap the home button, it's going to activate the Wolf launcher. And in fact, let's just test that now. So one tap and that's gone straight into the custom launcher. So no need to mess about with third party programs or other programs. Literally with just one click, we can now get into our custom launcher. And let's go back to the button mapper, which is just over here. Okay, so single tap is the custom launcher. Now the double tap is the key one because we want to keep or retain the recent action. So if I click on that, we can say when you double tap the home button, we're going to use an action and the action is recent. So let's click on that. And the last one we have is long press. So what happens when you hold down the home button? Now in this example, I'm going to leave home, which means it'll take me back to the stock launcher. Um, just for whatever reason, if you want to go back, that's one of the ways you can do that. Okay, so now when I press the home key, it should do this action, which is wolf launcher. Let's do that now. That's working great. And if I double tap the home key, we get the recess menu. So just like that, guys, we can retain some of those core system functions, but still use a custom launcher, which of course is not going to show you any adverts. Now, one slight bug we've discovered with Wolf Launcher is, is when you do go to the official Google Play Store, as I'm doing now. Now, when you go to My Apps at the top, this should now show you all of your installed applications. But as we can see with this Wolf Launcher, it seems to have a slight bug where all you get is a blank screen. But fortunately, there is an easy workaround, which is go to the search icon, click it once, press the back button once, and this then shows you all of the applications installed on your device. So it is a little bit of a workaround, but it does mean that we can still enjoy this launcher, but at the same time get all of our official updates from the Google Play Store. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. So that's all for this video guys, many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful then do give it a thumbs up. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I know more and more of these official Android TV devices are going to start pushing these adverts so hopefully using a custom launcher we can bypass all of that. So if you did find it useful then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments so do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.